the biggest question that remains what was the motive why did he murder her was there another woman aftab apparently was in touch with multiple women both before and after shraddha's mysterious disappearance and he was in touch with these women on different dating apps including bumble police are now questioning aftab about an unpaid water bill too in delhi about 20000 liters of water is free every month a person is billed only after that police suspects he kept water running as he chopped off her body over 10 hours and then for weeks cleaned the house with water and chemical solutions but then again do the police only have theories and circumstantial evidence or have they been able to get hard corroborative evidence and why was shraddha in what appears to be a toxic abusive relationship i am gorav savant we will get to the latest develops developments but as always let's get started with the headlines at 10 center move supreme court against the release of rajiv gandhi convicts seeks review of the remission says top order top court order in the case is legally flawed aftab burnt shraddha's face to hide her identity drank beer smoked while cutting her to pieces ordered food online and watched netflix police custody extended by 5 days rahul gandhi on bharat jodo yatra in maharashtra attacks veer savarkar's vision of india says the hindu ideologue was afraid of the british shiv sena distances itself from ally congress leader's remarks No relief for Delhi Minister Satyendra Jain in the money laundering case. Delhi court rejects Satyendra Jain and two other co-accused bail plea. UK Finance Minister announces tax hikes and spending cuts says the country is in recession. British economy expected to contract by 1.4% in 2023. Growth expected in 2024 information coming in aftab used to burn shraddha with cigarette butts shraddha was in a deeply abusive relationship one of shraddha's close friends told india today shraddha had shown her back burnt with cigarette butts to another woman friend and together they confronted aftab the friend says they wanted to hand aftab over to the police after shraddha told friends that he had burnt her with cigarette butts and showed them how he would torture her and physically abuse her friends wanted to rescue shraddha from this toxic abusive relationship they even warned shraddha but according to this friend it was shraddha who said let's forgive aftab rajat shukla one of shraddha's closest friends and she confided in him sometimes he says spoke exclusively to india today's rahul kamal Shraddha was not a person who would stay in a toxic relationship practically absolutely not and she was a practical girl however she was still staying that really made us question i remember of an incident when aftab had literally burned her through uh, cigarette butts uh, her back and she literally went to her female best friend and she showed it to her and all we all we people uh, in the group we were Uh, shockingly surprised and we went uh, to aftab you know uh, i i was in there but there were few people who went uh, and they they confronted aftab and they they said they were uh, really you know wanting to uh, put aftab uh, behind bars 
Now joining me on India First for more on this big story is India Today's ace crime correspondent Arvind Oja. Also with us on the broadcast is Dr. Swati Kashyap. She's a senior psychiatrist and psychotherapist at the Mind Clinic. But Arvind, I want to come to you first. Police ko aaj paanch din ki remand to aur mil gai. Lekin ye paanch din sabood jutani ke liye bohat mahatopoor honge. Aaj shraddha ke ek mitra ne bataya ki aftab usse cigarette se jalata tha. Police ko इन दोनों के बारे में इनके संबंध के बारे में क्या ताजा जानकारी मिल पाई है अरविंद देखिए मैं आपको बताऊं जो दिल्ली पुलिस की टीम है वो फिलहाल वेस्ट बंगाल माफ करिएगा हिमाचल प्रदेश में भी मौजूद है उत्तराखंड में मौजूद है वहां से तमाम इंफॉर्मेशन अगैदर किए जा रहे हैं उनके दोस्तों के बयान है वो भी दर्ज किए जा रहे हैं जैसा की आपने कहा जो आफ्ताब है उसकी पांच दिन की पुलिस एक्सटेंड हो गई है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है आप उससे पूछताछ होगी एविडेंस जुटाए जाएंगे और अगर एविडेंस पूरी तरह से नहीं आ, मिलते हैं पुलिस को तो बहुत मुमकिन है कि आ, जो पुलिस कस्टडी है और वो एक्सटेंड करेगी आ, दिल्ली पुलिस इस इन सब के बीच जो नार्को टेस्ट है उसकी परमिशन भी मिल चुकी है तो बहुत मुमकिन है कि उसका नार्को टेस्ट भी कराया जाएगा हालांकि जो नार्को टेस्ट है वो जो कोर्ट है उसमें एडमिसेबल नहीं है लेकिन नार्को टेस्ट के जरिए कुछ न कुछ लीड तो जरूर मिलेगी दिल्ली पुलिस को इसके अलावा जो इंडिया टुडे की टीम है आ, उसने फॉरेंसिक एक्सपर्ट जो उस दिन फ्लैट में इन्वेस्टिगेशन करने के लिए गए थे उनसे हमने बात की उनका कहना है कि आ, जो आ, कमरा है उस कमरे से ब्लड स्टेन मिला है किचन से आ, और वो काफी इंपॉर्टेंट होगा उसका सैंपल लिया गया है आ, जिसकी जांच कराई जाएगी उसके अलावा उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि बाथरूम में आ, जो श्रद्धा की बॉडी है उसको चौप करता था शावर चलाकर इस वजह से खून ब्लड के जो स्पॉट है वो जो कमरा है उसमें नहीं मिले उसके अलावा कमरे को कई बार एक बार नहीं कई बार कमरे को साफ किया गया फ्रिज को साफ किया गया लेकिन दो इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें फॉरेंसिक टीम को मिली है एक तो किचन जो किचन है वहां से ब्लड स्टेन मिला है आफ्ताब ने बताया कि एक जो बॉडी का पीस था उसने किचन में भी रखा था तो बहुत मुमकिन है कि वो श्रद्धा का ब्लड हो हालांकि फॉरेंसिक एग्जामिनेशन उसका होगा नंबर दो आफ्ताब ने पूछताछ में लीड दी थी कि मेहरोली का एक नाला है जहां पर आ, उसने हड्डियां फेंकी थी तो वहां से हड्डियों को कलेक्ट किया गया उसको भी फॉरेंसिक एग्जामिनेशन के लिए भेजा गया अगर आ, जो बॉन्स रिकवर हुए हैं और श्रद्धा के फादर का जो डीएनए लिया गया है एम्स में दोनों को मैच किया जाता है जी। तब जाकर ये पहली बार स्टैब्लिश होगा कि वाकई श्रद्धा की हत्या हो चुकी है अभी तक तो आफ्ताब जिसको पुलिस कातिल बता रही है वो एक्सेप्ट कर रहा है दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेप्ट कर रही है दिल्ली पुलिस के हवाले से हम भी ये बता रहे हैं लेकिन फॉरेंसिक तौर पर पुख्ता जानकारी एविडेंस नहीं है रहिए मेरे साथ अरविंद विस्तार से इस पर चर्चा करेंगे लेकिन जिस तरह के संबंध थे दोनों के कि वो सिगरेट से जलाया करता था श्रद्धा को और फिर भी वो इस संबंध में थी डॉक्टर कश्यप वो डू यू मेक ऑफ दिस श्रद्धा अपियर्स टू बीन इन अ वेरी Troubled relationship, a toxic relationship. You heard what Rajat said. Aftab used to burn her with cigarette butts and regularly beat her up. Should this not have been a red flag? Should friends not have encouraged her to to take perhaps some corrective measures? Yes, definitely, because this itself pointed to his uh, psychopathic and uh, uh, sadistic tendencies. And um, uh, I feel that you know Shraddha herself. Uh, you know, there's no victim blaming here, but Shraddha herself should have taken this as a red flag. And uh, the friends definitely should have cajoled her into taking this very seriously and leaving the relationship. It was, it was much more than toxic. It was a relationship with someone who had very dangerous and criminal traits. Dangerous and criminal traits. Uh, Arvind, we have this at this time that it was her old friend या टिंडर बम्बल ये जो डेटिंग एप्स है इस पर वो और कुछ महिलाओं के संपर्क में था पुलिस उन्हें भी तलाशने का प्रयास कर रही है कुछ लोगों से क्या बात हुई है पुलिस की इसके व्यक्तित्व के बारे में कुछ पता चल पाया है पुरानी मित्र या बाद की मित्र के बारे में कुछ पता चल पाया है जी बिल्कुल गौरव और ये काफी शॉकिंग भी है जो आपने पूछा जो इंडिया टूडे को सोर्सेस से जानकारी मिली है कि जब श्रद्धा का मर्डर कर दिया था और फ्रिज में आ, उसकी बॉडी के कुछ टुकड़े पड़े हुए थे उस दौरान भी इसने आ, एक डेटिंग ऐप के जरिए उसी दौरान डेटिंग ऐप के जरिए एक लड़की से कांटेक्ट किया और वो लड़की आ, उस फ्लैट आई भी थी 
पुलिस ने उससे कांटेक्ट भी कर लिया उस लड़की से उसके बयान भी दर्ज किए लेकिन ये काफी शॉकिंग है कि एक लड़का जो एक अपनी गर्लफ्रेंड का मर्डर कर देता है जो उसके साथ लिविंग में रहती है उसकी बॉडी के कुछ टुकड़े उसके फ्लैट में पड़े रहते हैं और वो दूसरी लड़की से कॉन्टेक्ट करता है डेटिंग ऐप के जरिए और उसको फ्लैट में लेकर आता भी है जिस दौरान फ्लैट में एक लड़की की बॉडी के कुछ टुकड़े पड़े हुए हैं ये जानकारी इंडिया टुडे को सोर्सेस ने दी है उस लड़की से भी कांटेक्ट किया गया इसके अलावा ये कई ऐसे डेटिंग ऐप से जुड़ा हुआ था आ, उस डेटिंग ऐप की जानकारी भी दिल्ली पुलिस ने मांगी है एक डेटिंग ऐप के आ, की तरफ से बकायदा बयान भी आ चुका है इंडिया टुडे को जिसमें उन्होंने कहा है कि वो पूरी तरह से इन्वेस्टिगेशन को कॉपरेट करेंगे और अलग अलग सिम से ये आ, जो डेटिंग ऐप है वहां पर ये लड़कियों से कॉन्टेक्ट करता था जो श्रद्धा के पालन से कौन हमारी बात उनका कहना है कि जब वो पुलिस के सामने और खुद श्रद्धा के पिता बैठे हुए थे उनके सामने जब उसने एक्सेप्ट किया कि यस आई किल्ड है यानी मैंने श्रद्धा को मार दिया उस दौरान भी वो काफी नॉर्मल था और आप कितना क्रिमिनल माइंडेड है ये आप इसका अंदाजा इसी बात से लगा सकते हैं जब मिसिंग रिपोर्ट फाइल की गई तो न सिर्फ मुंबई पुलिस बल्कि दिल्ली पुलिस ने ज्वाइंट इंटरोगेट किया था और आपताब बार बार एक महीने तक यही कहता रहा कि मेरा ब्रेकअप हो चुका है और श्रद्धा 22 मई को कहीं चली गई लेकिन जब कॉल डिटेल खंगाली गई तब तो जाकर झूठ पकड़ा गया कि जो श्रद्धा है उसकी लास्ट लोकेशन 26 मई को भी छतरपुर इलाके में थी दरअसल 26 मई को लेकिन श्रद्धा के लिंक हिम एज द मर्डर पुलिस वुड रिक्वायर कोरोबोरेटिव एविडेंस एंड We'll talk about his mindset in just a moment. But the Delhi police today sought an extension of police remand. They were granted five days of additional custody of this accused Aftab. And police officials tell India today he is proving to be a tough nut to crack. Police say he has agreed to a narco-analysis test. He has been given them some details about how he killed her, how he went online to check the best ways to get rid of evidence. And as Arvind was just explaining, the body was then taken to the bathroom and kept under running water because that he had read online makes it easier to chop the body into pieces arvind ojha with this report Twenty-eight year old aftab amin punawala a food blogger a photographer a guy who worked at a call center he looked like a regular guy He was active on dating apps. That's where he met 27-year-old Shraddha Walker in 2019. The two soon moved in together in a flat in Vasai, but since their families were opposed to the interfaith relationship, in May next year, Aftab and Shraddha came to Delhi and rented a flat in Chhatrapur. That is when the love story began to unravel. Shraddha had told her friends and her mother that Aftab was abusive and that the two would fight often. She also reportedly told a friend that Aftab had attempted to kill her once. Sadha shared this with her best friend that uh, you know Aftab is being violent to her. He beats her up, and he messaged uh, his childhood friend uh, Lakshmi that you know Lakshmi, please uh, you know take me out of this place because if I stay here for uh, this night, I think uh, Aftab might take my life. Investigators have told India today that Aftab was inspired by the American crime show Dexter. Aftab after strangulating Shraddha and hacking her body into small parts, he disposed them off like the show's main character, Dexter Morgan, a serial killer. Aftab froze Shraddha's remains in a refrigerator for nearly 20 days. Every night he would put a few parts in a poly bag and carry them to the nearby forest. In the show Dexter killed his victims in plastic wrapped rooms while wearing gloves dismembered the corpses and then dumped them in the Gulf Stream of the Atlantic Ocean Police sources say that Aftab googled ways to clean blood he also read about human anatomy so it could help him chop up Shraddha's body Before buying a fridge to store the dismembered body he moved it to his cupboard and the kitchen He would reportedly look at Shraddha's severed head that was stored in the fridge to see her face for days after the murder aftab ordered food online but it was always for two people 
He even got back on dating app and brought back at least another girl home while Shraddha's body parts were still lying in the fridge. Since his arrest, Aftab has been changing statements and trying to mislead the investigators. In November, when he was questioned about Shraddha's disappearance, Aftab claimed Shraddha left her flat on May 22nd after a fight. He told the same thing to the Delhi police. However, cops found a bank transaction on May 26, where 54,000 rupees was transferred from Shraddha's account. The location for the DG transaction was traced to Chhatrapur, though he had earlier said the Shraddha had left with a phone. What triggered Aftab to kill Shraddha? He says it was the pressure to marry and a fight over groceries. Now, only a narco test will reveal the truth. With Arvind Oja in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Dr. Kashyap, what would you conclude of, of the accused? He, he stands accused of murdering his partner, spends 10 hours chopping the body and then packing the body in polythene bags, stores them in the refrigerator, drinks beer, watches TV in between. What kind of a person is this? See, clearly from what we know, we can see that this person is very high on psychopathy traits. Uh, now, let me just explain. Um, usually, when we come to a diagnosis, the diagnosis is a personality disorder called antisocial personality disorder, which is found in about 1 to 3 percent of population. However, everybody with an antisocial personality disorder may not have uh, the construct of psychopathy, which is much more serious and much more uh, criminal, so to say. And in this construct, you have um, shallow emotional responses, meaning you can be superficially very charming. The reason why, you know, a girl can get involved in a relationship with someone like that, there's a total lack of empathy, a total lack of remorse or guilt, and they can also have more impulsivity. So here it is possible that the crime could have been either a cold-blooded one or it could have been a crime of passion also. But what followed, which was also a crime that is hiding that crime, was definitely absolutely cold-blooded, calculated, and there was absolutely no remorse, no guilt. He was watching Netflix. Uh, he was, you know, Googling methods of uh, disposing the body on Google. Dating he other was women? In the refrigerator. And he was, he was dating other women, which is, I mean, and he was looking at her face. Looking at her face um, repeatedly, that is what we just heard. Yes. So all these things uh, bring up a particular, you know, there are certain ways in which psychopathy has been classified. And one of the ways says that there are four types of uh, psychopaths. One okay. of them is a sadistic psychopath. So this sounds very sadistically psychopathic, and especially when uh, so you tell us about the he, he could be a you know, sadistic psychopath. On the other yeah. side, could be extremely charming. You know, what yes. are red flags yeah. for, for, for young women um, uh, on, on these dating apps uh, now, that, now that there are so many relationships? You know, how do you swipe right but you do, don't swipe into another aftab? Well, thanks for asking that question because I think that is the only corrective thing we can do now apart from getting um, uh, justice for Shraddha. Um, when we find that we meet someone and this person is excessively charming, so I'm not saying charming, I'm saying excessively charming, just be careful and for the next few meetings, just be on the lookout for any red flags. Any like, red flags that show, uh, for example, you find that person being cruel to someone else. For example, uh, being very impulsive, say in road rage, or being cruel. You come to know that they have been cruel, say, to an animal, or they've been cruel to an elderly person or to a child. These are definite red flags. Also, if uh, in the name of, uh, you know, practices like, um, uh, you know, certain kind of intimacy practices like BTSM and stuff, if they are doing dangerous stuff, that is a very, very big red flag. Very interesting. Stay with me, doctor. Let me also quickly bring in Arvind Ojha um, on the aspect of the head. Arvind, Shraddha ke sir ke saath kya kiya? Is par alag alag theory uh, 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 saamne a rahi hai. Pehle ka, kaha gaya ki usko freezer mein rakha, roz usko usse baat karta tha ya sir se ya roz sir ko dekhta tha. Phir khabar hai ki usko jala diya sir ko. Uh, phir khabar hai ki kahi dafna diya. Kya pata chal paaya hai? Police ko kya alag alag baate bata raha hai aftab? 
देखिए ये तो जरूर है कि आ, काफी मिसलीड कर रहा था शुरुआत में वो क्योंकि तो देखिए ये काफी एजुकेटेड भी है और सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि इसको एक फुल कॉन्फिडेंट हो गया था क्योंकि तो एक महीने दो महीने तीन महीने तक किसी को पता ही नहीं चला कि श्रद्धा का मर्डर हो चुका है तो इसलिए फुल्ली कॉन्फिडेंट था और शायद इस वजह से जब एक महीने तक इसे पूछताछ हुई तो ये पुलिस को गुमराह कर रहा था लेकिन अब काफी हद तक पुलिस ने इस पर शिकंजा कस भी दिया है खासतौर से जिस तरह के इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एविडेंस मिले हैं कॉल डिटेल्स मिले हैं इसके बाद पूरी तरह से शिकंजा कस दिया है देखिए अभी तक जो समझ में आया है पूरी तरह से क्रिमिनल माइंडेड है ये जो आफ्ताब है पूरी तरह से क्रिमिनल माइंडेड है क्योंकि तो जिस तरीके से एविडेंस इसने मिटाए हैं और जो फॉरेंसिक एक्सपर्ट से हमारी बात हुई जो खुद उस फ्लैट में आफ्ताब के साथ मौजूद थे उनका कहना था कि एक बार नहीं बल्कि कई बार उस फ्लैट को किसी केमिकल से साफ किया गया है वो तो शायद किचन में उसने उस ब्लड स्पॉट को मिटाना भूल गया था जो फॉरेंसिक एक्सपर्ट के पास आए लेकिन जिस तरीके से ठीक अरविंद कीप ट्रैकिंग दैट स्टोरी आई विल कम बैक टू यू फॉर मोर